Let's do some news! My name is Mike B, aka Phony. Time is 2.21 p.m. Today's date is May 29th, 2020. And welcome back to the crazy video. Welcome back to a crazy video. That's right. It's gonna be crazy. It's actually gonna be pretty chill compared to everything else. <laughs> oh, snap. Uh, leading the news today. So first off, if you're tuning in from YouTube and you're wondering what you're about to get yourself into, we're not going to talk about any of the current world events that are happening, okay? So you're safe from that for a moment. I understand that sometimes you need a reprieve. I totally understand that. It's hard. It's hard because it's everywhere. Uh, we're going to talk about video game stuff mostly and video game culture. So like proxy stuff, you know, stuff, stuff related, you know? So not all video games, like for example, I mean, th this kind of counts actually as a video game. You know, the whole, like, uh, the whole Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is coming. What? You're not. What? What? Can you believe it, Declan? <laughs> Son Look, right there. Sonic the Hedgehog sequel in the works. Oh. It's getting a sequel. That means it's going to be a part two. Isn't that great? Yeah. Is it going to make you wiggle? <laughs> Thank you for your contributions. All right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic, Sonic is getting a sequel. They're bringing on the same, uh, this the same uh, director, the same uh, and the same writers uh, to. Uh, <laughs> this is my hype man. <laughs> uh, to a uh, video copy by Erica. Oh, whoops. Am I still streaming? I still am. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, that's great news. That's great news. I uh, don't want to spoil the end of the first Sonic movie, but I will tell you that I did think it was uh, uh, pretty good. For uh, for actually, it was really good for a video game movie. It was actually stellar for a video game movie, uh, and just as a standalone movie, I thought it was also pretty good and a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, the CGI company. Um, I can't remember. I can't remember what the the actual deal is with them, but I think typically CGI companies don't end up staying around for too long, anyways. So, yeah, I don't know if they're gonna export the files for somebody else to work on or what. I have no idea, but we at least know. No, they're not going to make it look like the original, <laughs> the original Sonic that they had released. The one that even this one said, I don't need that. It's like, I think verbatim is what he said. When I showed him the, oh, the original Sonic, I said, look at this. He said, I don't need that. I was like, yep, neither do we. Neither do we. So, yes, yeah, so some fantastic news. Sonic the Hedgehog is getting a sequel. We don't know if the actors haven't, they haven't actually confirmed the casting or anything yet. But I mean, they're obviously going to pull in uh, some of the original, uh, some of the original actors and everything. Of course, that'd be weird. Why would they switch that up? Um, do you think they'll do a joke trailer with the old model? Oh, that'd be great. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm sure that they're going to uh, bring up or probably mention or cameo or whatever the cameo that happened at the end of the first movie. Right, because that was that. I think that was the people that saw the movie all the way through to the end. I think that was a major thing for folks. It was kind of like, oh snap! Like the story is going to continue for sure. It was definitely alluding to a sequel. Um, let's see. Uh, scream! So what are you with a scream? Now nah, we're not. This video game movie, man, it's different. Scream Five. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really scream five for reals <laughs> uh, make the OG Sonic be his alternate universe self oh that'd be great the old model could make for a fantastic for metal Sonic ooh mm. uh, there was a scream video game oh my god <laughs> I screamed at a video game once <laughs> that applies uh, next story uh, <laughs> this one just gets back and we get back into games uh, are you guys familiar with uh, Shirley Curry Shirley Curry? I'm sure you guys are. She is the Skyrim grandma. Maybe you guys know that name. Uh, she is a... No. Okay, so she is a very popular... I surely am not. She is a very popular Skyrim player. Uh, she has her likeness in... Coming up in the next Skyrim, in Skyrim 5. Like her likeness has been... I think they took like 3D scans or something like that. So she's going to be in the game. Uh, she she puts out tons and tons and tons and tons of gameplay videos. She's been doing it for years. Uh, I think probably like six, seven years, something crazy. Um, and she likes to role play. She just explores the world of Skyrim. She role plays her characters and she just kind of plays the game just kind of like however she wants. And she just has a good old time and that's it. She's very wholesome. Uh, and unlike what? 
<laughs> Unlock my shirt, what? Uh, there's actually a documentary that uh, came out uh, around Christmas of last year. And I'm going to mute this real quick. So it doesn't, oh, I got it so loud. Okay. Uh, there's a documentary about my game inventory uh, that was released that is pretty good. No, you ain't, Reggie, because the alerts are turned off, but thank you. Uh, <laughs> it's a pretty good look at who Shirley Curry is. Uh, it is It is also a very wholesome and heartwarm, heartwarming uh, <laughs> uh, uh, mo- not mockumentary, Jesus, uh, documentary on who she is and like what how she's contributed to the uh, uh, to the community and just how much she loves Skyrim, you know? Uh, one second, buddy. One second. One second. One second. Wow, wow, wow. One second. Look. No. I turned into a blaze. Well, you wait. <laughs> that is pretty cool, though. Uh, so she released a uh, video where she's talking about how she's going to kind of scale back things in terms of what she wants to, uh, in terms of content. And, and it was, you know, I, I watched the whole thing and... You know, it was, uh, you know, it sucks. It sucks whenever somebody says that they have to kind of like pull things back a little bit and they want to, you know, just kind of maybe take it easy on posting things all the time. Uh, her reasons for doing so, and these are summarized quotes, but I do my best to keep them as 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 verbatim as possible. Uh, but she says, some of the comments are stressing me out way too much. I shouldn't let them, but they do. Uh, and she says, uh, she's tired. basically she says she's tired of some of the backseating, nitpicking, and people talking back after she responds. Uh, and she says, it's snowballed beyond anything I can handle anymore, talking about the popularity that she has accumulated. Uh, and also, uh, she says, why am I making these stories that no one's watching? She's talking about, she's re- looking at the analytics where she you know puts together this video where she role plays this character through like an entire you know video, a series of videos, and then and, you know, she looks at analytics and she feels she probably feels that she you know she doesn't like that um, people aren't necessarily sticking with the whole thing. You know, you see when you look at analytics, you always see like there's like a taper off and all that stuff, right? Uh, of people watching videos, so she kind of feels like you know, she has all these subscribers, but they're not watching the videos. Which you know, I mean, you, you could probably blame part of that on the algorithm not getting everything out to everybody, you know. Um, but at the same time, it's like. As somebody who's been making content uh, for a long time, about as long as Shirley Curry, maybe longer, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's, it, I understand the frustration. I wholeheartedly understand the frustration of just having to learn to deal with uh, uh, back se- people backseating and questioning what you do. And then like, you know, you'll, you'll make a video and then you release it. And then a week later, somebody says something in t- on Twitter through a DM or on discord. And, the, and they're saying, hi, why, why would you ever do that thing? And it's like, great, awesome. I put out like six videos since then, but thank you so much for reminding me that I made a mistake <laughs> so long ago. And you know, it does get tiring. And the bigger you get, I mean, Shirley Curry, like she she draws a lot. She draws a lot of of, uh, of comments. Do right the first time. I know I got to do right the first time. Exactly. She draws a lot of comments because of the way she plays the game. And, you know, she tries to explain over and over again. And I I totally understand this. You try to explain. It's like, no, I, I'd like to do things this way. This is the way I do things. I like to, And then you end up like, and then what happens, it ends up actually... Her, her, it becomes a part of like how you present yourself where it's like every time you go to play something you have to preface it with I, I'm playing this my way so keep the comments to a minimum kind of thing right and I hate that even I had to do that sometimes and I hate hearing that from other uh, YouTubers and streamers because I feel like they have to preface everything with a please don't try to get, have a gotcha moment in the comments please I'm trying to just enjoy what I'm doing you know uh, you say total, total biscuit had it right you turn off the comments yeah, it's 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 a tough one because you know Shirley Curry is really um, looks like we're having some uh, so a little bit of issues with uh, the bit right here, but um, uh, sh- 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 <laughs> Deck, you gotta keep it down, boy. We're doing the news. Um, but anyways, yeah. So she she uh, she she put out a video just basically saying she's gonna just pull back a little bit. You know, not maybe not uh, post as frequently. She's gonna take a couple of weeks off. This is all super understandable stuff, right? Super understandable. Um, it wasn't it wasn't at all like it was posted on VG247, where it says YouTuber Skyrim Grandma announces she is scaling back streams for the sake of her health after receiving an onslaught of patronizing comments. It's like whoa. Whoa, an onslaught of patronizing comments. Holy crap. Really? Because that's not all what I got from that video. <laughs> it just sounded like she was annoyed by maybe a couple people, and that was it. An onslaught. Holy crap, man. It's like an army of nerds just like telling how to play Skyrim. It wasn't at all like that. According to who? According to Shirley herself. Shirley herself responded to the article on Twitter. And she said, here it says, a YouTuber uh, Skyrim Grandma announced that she is scaling back streams for the sake of her health after receiving an onslaught of patronizing comments. She says, VG247, uh, I don't know who you are or where you get your ideas from, but there was no 
onslaught of patronizing comments, but yes, I am scaling back my videos due to health. Most people on my channel are very nice. I do wish you would delete this so it would go away. And they did not delete it. <laughs> and and uh, they did edit the story to include uh, to include, they basically edited the story so they could change the title a little bit. Here's the new story here. It says, uh, uh, it says YouTube's Kyron Grandma announces she is scaling back streams for the sake of her health after receiving patronizing comments. Where's the onslaught? She, they note at the bottom here that they, that, that she had, uh, commented basically saying that, um, there was no onslaught. And so they edited that. And then they basically said all the quotes above are taken verbatim from Curry's video. And, and I'm, and, and I just, I just feel like, fuck you, VG27. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, now first off, first off, uh, you know I, I've Shirley Curry and I have followed each other on Twitter for a long time, and I ha I have seen because you know, we kind of follow the same people. I have seen how she interacts with folks, you know, because you could see when other people, <laughs> you know, chats brought me. I could see uh, you know when, when you, you could see when two people you follow like talk to each other, right? Uh, I. I at no point in time felt like I needed to step up and save Grandma Curry. I not at all, uh, not at all. Like she, I've seen her interact with other people. She is, she is not gonna. She does not put up with anything. <laughs> if she feels something, like if she has an opinion about something, she will tell you. You know, she's she's not sensitive, frail grandma or anything like that on the internet at all. She will tell you that you're wrong. <laughs> And she does. And she yeah. She just does, doesn't hold back. She doesn't hold back. So I was not at any point like we have to go save, save Shirley from all these guys. And let me tell you, let me tell you, she old school. Yeah, exactly. Ground was gangster. Yeah. No, she. Let me tell you, th this was not VG twenty four seven was not the only one that that did this. Uh, the folks over at uh, KIA K Kotaku in Action, which which is a necessary evil at times, <laughs> made a made a fantastic compilation of. So many articles where they say Skyrim Grandma takes something off to help with negative YouTube comments. Um, uh, YouTube Skyrim Grandma has taken a break after reading the comments. It says her frustration is similar to anyone who's been who, who has been a woman doing anything for an audience on the internet. I don't know how I went to that route. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna pick random ones here. I think uh, how about rock, rock paper shotgun? Maybe not quite so random. Uh, let's see. Uh, Skyrim uh, cuts back on videos. Let's see. A drastic cut back on videos for the sake of her health and enjoyment of the game. This one actually is pretty neutral. That's good. Uh, oh, that's right. Kotaku. That's right. Kotaku had one too. Vice. I huh? imagine that. Yeah. Uh, Kotaku. Of course, Kotaku and actually we have to pick this one out. Skyrim Grandma is taking a break because of internet. <laughs> Finally, that button comes in handy. Yeah. So you can imagine. Like putting out something, just saying, "Oh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just kind of, kind of chill a little bit. You know, a couple of comments kind of get on my nerves a little bit, but you know, I'm just gonna scale back. My blood pressure's a little bit high. I'm gonna, gonna calm a little bit. You know, just, just, and then everybody else taking up the reins and, and and trying to stand up for you as if you needed the help. Shirley Curry does not need the help. <laughs> she does not need your help. Uh, and so, yeah, it's just, it just turned into the, I mean, I, what's the original article look like? Or what's the new article look like? I wonder, let me see. I haven't checked this yet. Uh, oh, it's still the same. I guess they're not going to edit that. That's fine. I guess it's totally fine. That just, Kotaku is going to make up their own narrative and it's totally great. Jesus, man. Yes. You want to say, yeah, you say the, the, the usual suspects. I mean, look at this, uh, look at this list that I have that I'm pulling from. It's significant. I only showed you guys a handful. Um, okay. So this button works. We'll wait till the button works and then we'll go ahead and swoops. We'll still move to the side, but it's a pretty big list when it comes up. Come on, Stream Deck. Why you do this? Not the time to do this. Okay, well, just know that it is a uh, that it's a pretty, pretty, pretty long list of of articles. I don't know why it's not working now. Uh, you got PC games and Vice, Metro, Rock, Paper, Shotgun, Bleeding Cool, Dual Shockers, Unilad, Shack News, Alt Chair, Alt Care. I'll care. Uh, Republic World, Glitched, Critical Hit, Lad Bible, The Gamer, Forbes, Game Rant, Co I think Forbes is the one actually was uh, not too bad either. Uh, Game Rant, Cog Connected, Times Life. I mean, it was just basically, uh, I don't know what's up with the stream deck now, but uh, I'm hoping that it changes because we got to do the news and this is not going to be up. There it is. Hey, finally, I had to push it a thousand times. All right. Um, so, yeah, there is a list. It's just it's just a lot. It's just an absolute lot of, uh, uh, of articles misrepresenting the truth. Which we're used to in video games. What's up, buddy? What's up? What's up? In Minecraft, I turned into a baby slime. You did? Well, go, <laughs> go play. Let me do my news, dude. Let me see. Next up, I'm afraid I'm afraid to change this thing back. Oh god, I pushed the button. I should have hit the button. <sighs> Next up, we'll just leave this thing off to the side. 
No polygon? I'm surprised. Yeah, polygons are on the list, actually. Huh, I'm surprised as well. They must have missed the whole thing. They slept on it, that's all. Because they probably would have been up there as well. Uh, we'll obviously, uh, Grandma was too all of them for slander or whatever. Well, I don't know if it was necessarily slander. I mean, it definitely was like, it was definitely misrepresenting the, everything that, that she had said. Uh, taking it and blowing it up and, and basically just getting, I mean, you know, you know how some of these, some of these, people are game journalists whatever i don't know like just journalists in gen general it's like they need to be offended for other people <laughs> it's like come on man just stop uh in other news uh in other news PETA has a new target and it's animal crossing yeah so PETA put out a video where they oh boy oh boy <laughs> you thought you were here to escape all the negativity in the world <laughs> gotcha <laughs> so so peter put out a video where they were inside of uh of animal crossing protesting they had custom shirts and all this stuff Blathers encourages villagers to take fish out of the natural habitat so he can trap them in tiny tanks. Canceled. Blathers is over party. Tell Blathers to empty the tanks. I thought when I first watched this, I was like, this is, this has got to be a joke, right? I mean, Peter kind of a joke to begin with, but this has to be like, like kind of a satirical kind of thing because like for reals, like we're going to hold these kind of protests in, I mean, I mean, yes, there were Hong Kong protests and all that stuff happening, uh, but this one just seems stupid. Just stupid. Uh, words are hard when this guy's here. <laughs> so I thought it was just a joke. I thought it was like, yeah, exactly. I, that's why I said, I said, this can't be serious. And then, and then I pulled up the article that they wrote where they go through in detail. PETA's vegan guide to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, first off, I have no issues with somebody being vegan. I don't care. I don't care. It's your body. You're doing whatever you want. It's fine. Totally fine. Right? No issues. But I will laugh at you. If you do shit like this, yes. sorry, thank you. <laughs> is fishing in Animal Crossing vegan? Eh. No. Is is it okay to catch bugs in Animal Crossing? Eh. No. Is it, do clams feel pain? Do clams feel pain in Animal Crossing? Should I leave the hermit crabs in the game alone? What would a vegan eat on a desert island? They took all these screenshots and they wrote this whole article on this. What other vegan food can you eat in the game? What can vegans wear in the game? Like let alone let alone the hypocrisy of like yeah, how can how can they play? How can they even play if they're vegans? Like while they're wearing their shoes, I'm sure. Uh, how can they even play uh, a Switch? <laughs> Surely at some point in the line, there's a product or a piece of that product that's developed on the backs of animals somewhere. I'm sure somewhere. Something was testing on animals somewhere. Uh, all those animals run on electricity. Oh, thank you so much. They probably don't feel pain. It's, it's probably, yeah, when you're this desperate to, to be vegan. It's like super duper maximum pain, right? This is so, this is so, look at, look at, nope, nope. What can vegans wear in the game? Pleather shorts. Hey, pleather shorts. Look at that, pleather sneakers. Man, should I build a dog house? I haven't read this one yet. Let me see. Uh, if you get instructions to build a dog house, don't. Life at the end of a heavy short chain is all too real an issue for many dogs in the U.S. Right now, countless dogs are... Shut up. See, if, is Tom Nook exploiting you? The answer to that is yes. <laughs> the answer to that is yes. That's for sure. Um, they're not to wear pleather. Do you realize what pleather is? I'm just... just, just uh, who is Harvey? Harvey's the guy you go to his house and you take pictures and all that. It's just, I don't know, man. Is Isabella vegan? I mean, this, this is a very long article that started off. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was a joke. What about the stock market? You know what? I don't think I saw anything here about the stock market, which would be weird because you're you're buying and selling goods. You're buying and selling uh, like, like plant goods, right? Like like you're exploiting plants. Plants have feelings. Haven't they seen the happening? The, the frown. The come on. The Mark Wahlberg frown. Come on. I can almost do it. Something like that. Let me see. A uh, stock. They didn't even mention the stock market. They probably didn't play the game. <laughs> Look at this! It's such a huge article. That's does that's pointless. That's pointless. What does it say here? Uh, is PETA against Animal Crossing New Horizons? P PETA hopes the game will encourage people to feel closer to the animals we share our planet with and inspire them to work to end speciesism. Speciesism. Speciesism, guys. Speciesism. <sighs> yeah, vegan Doom Eternal. I know. Now, now yeah, now do Doom. <laughs> I want to see an article like this for like every major game that's come out in the past like three months. Please, please do. Please do Doom. I want to see. God, 
The imps are so under uh, misunderstood. <laughs> the cyber demon is just trying to help. Please don't. Shut up. <laughs> I said shut up. Not to you, but you know what I'm saying, Declan. Oh, man. What do you say? Uh, uh, have you ever heard of the sounds of radish makes when it's ripped from the ground? <laughs> Keep, don't talk crap about the idea. Oh, yeah, they have jokes. Pete is a joke. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just, it, it, it is just embarrassing, you know, like, I understand what the purpose of PETA is, and, but the way that they approach social media and the way they approach some of the articles just seems like they're just desperate for attention. It just seems like it's just, it's just so much desperation. It's like, look at us taking your favorite thing and just pooping all over it. You know, it's, it just, it, it's just <laughs> kidding like Anita Sarkeesian vibes from these guys, man. Does she work there? <laughs> just check the LinkedIn. God, man. Uh, the purpose of PETA is to be a joke, right? God, you would think so. PETA on Twitter is like the polar opposite of Wendy's on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some of the responses they had to some of the tweets was ridiculous. It's like, okay, yeah. They they, they take it, they don't really present themselves as an organization, but like you said, like Wendy's doesn't either, but Wendy's at least is, you know, tolerable to read, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> not, not insufferable. That's what I'm thinking. Of. That's not, not insufferable. Oh man, so yeah, that's uh, so so if you play, if you're playing, if you're playing Animal Crossing, you better be playing it right, okay? Virtual clams feel pain. Wonder what this guy thinks. Listen to all this. <laughs> when I saw you at a protest at the Twitch guy, I went and got a hot dog and ate it in front of them. See, like I, I'm not trying to be mean, you know, I don't want to be mean, but if they do dumb things, like we have to call them out on it, you know, like. That's how society works. That's how we, that's how we like curb some of the weird, like fringe stuff. It's like when things are like dumb, weird, like weird is fine, but like dumb, weird, <laughs> like that's a whole nother thing. You know, we have to, we have to, sh we have to shame, <laughs> shame them. You say, yeah, I'm kind of me. What'd you say? That's like a whole bruh. That's a whole bruh? Yeah. It is, it is kind of a whole bruh, but the people I'm talking about, they just they bro all the time, Declan. They're like, they bruh like nonstop. And so daddy's got to say something. Got to say something. We got to stop the bruh from these guys. From us, it's fine. <sighs> Next up. BlizzCon is canceled. Oh, what? Surprise Pikachu. Oh. Uh, nobody's surprised. Nobody's surprised whatsoever. Uh, BlizzCon is canceled. Uh, we expected this to happen. We absolutely, yeah, yeah nobody is shocked. <laughs> we, we absolutely expected this to happen. Uh, I don't hold it against Blizzard for not hosting it. I didn't see any comments. I didn't read any of the comments because I'm sure somebody in there is, is like, you know, how dare you or something or hey, California liberals, liptards, uh, uh, God, I don't even know what other buzzwords. I don't know. Snowflakes, the uh, mask freedom. I don't know. Something like that. Right. Some combination of these things uh, <laughs> are stopping. It's stopping BlizzCon from happening. So I didn't read the comments. Sorry. Uh, but they did say my freedom. I know my freedom. <laughs> So they did say, uh, we're talking about how we might be able to channel the BlizzCon spirit and connect with you in some way online, far less impacted by the state of health and safety pro protocols for, uh, oh, by, by, by the state of, yeah, health and safety protocols for mass in-person gatherings. We'd want to do this as soon as we could, but given that this is newish territory and the, and the different factors involved, excuse me, uh, it will most likely be sometime early next year. Uh, so, so yeah, it's, uh... It's not going to happen. They don't have anything digital lined up. I, I know that it feels like they do. They always do like, you know, BlizzCon, you know, the digital ticket, like the virtual ticket, like every year. Like, why can't they just do that? And it's like, well, they can't really get all the, the production, all those people in to film that stuff. You know, like they have to take, you know, whatever precautions. And so it's still it's still it's still an issue. You know, I mean, I, I don't I don't think Blizzard is even back in the office yet. Right. I don't think anybody's back in the office of California right now. So, yeah, they're, they're not even back in the office. So what do they expect you know to happen in a few months they don't even know nobody knows so it's safer to just cancel for now and then you know go from there and yeah and you know that's another that's another point too serene serene like you know on one hand you think oh well now they have more time to work on diablo 4 right or whatever game that you're looking forward to now they have more time to work on blank uh but the reality is 
even though they're working from home, we don't know what their productivity is at home. You know, we don't know if they are still developing at the same rate and speed, like if their sprints are still lining up and they're still meeting their goals. We don't know if that's all happening. It could very well be like they lost a month worth of time, worth, worth of time because they've had to set up all the coordination and everything and all the basically all the infrastructure in order to support people working from home. You know, and maybe it took a month to kind of get in line. And so they're like two sprints back. And that sucks. Like that sucks. You know, you're playing catch up. Um, uh, was I, I would love if they used the resources they would use on BlizzCon to some games. Well, you know, uh, the I know they have a team. I mean, the person put this out is actually uh, the let me see what is it? A whirlwind. Uh, 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 Sarah Lynn Smith, executive producer of BlizzCon. So they have a team dedicated to this. Uh, I don't know if it's like people that have other hats that they wear in the in the company. I'm sure they do because they wouldn't just like you know let them go. I guess for a year. Um, you're working at a company that is 100 work from home. It's not as productive at all. Yeah, you know, Zep. Like I, I hear I hear mixed reviews on that. Like in some cases, I hear that it's you know it's uh it's not like you said it's not that productive. And other cases, I'm hearing that, you know, it's just as productive and people are happier, you know, because, you know, they're uh, because they're work from home. Uh, my wife is mixed. She's mixed. She, you know, every they're productive, but they uh, uh, she doesn't like work from home. She would much rather be in the office. She's she's a very she's a very social person, though. Not like me. <laughs> it's good enough that uh, a lot of IT companies seem to be deciding to stick with it after lockdown. Yeah, there's going to be there's going to be a lot of companies that do that. The uh, the the commercial real estate market is going to be trashed uh, by the end of the year for sure. Uh, my company has been working from home since early April, and we have done almost no honest work. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's no way to know. Like like I said, it's it's like a mix a mixed bag. Some people. Yes, some people no, some people love it, some people don't, and then there's a bunch of mixes in the middle there. So, uh, I can use a time save to commute to do a, a little bit of overtime and such. Exactly. Yeah, you could roll out of bed at the last second, just roll into work. It's easy. Yeah. Um, I was more productive when I started work from home when they cut my salary. So I said, ah, oh. yeah, that's the other thing too. It's like the salary cuts for people that could potentially happen, especially with uh, what was it, Facebook? I think that said that they would let people work from home indefinitely. Maybe, but uh, they're gonna, you know, cut their cut their salary, which is exactly what I said. What happened? <laughs> because I live here and I know these things. <laughs> Been doing it for years. Uh, hell yes, remote work. But the secret is finding a way to separate your work and play environments. Yeah, that for some people they need that. Yes, for sure, for sure. For me, my work play environments the same, but at the same time I have like secondary play environments, which is like sit down on the couch and play a game, which is why I have this aversion towards like controller games now is because I found a way to kind of sit down and just relax and kind of take a load off and just play games on the couch and not not follow the news and Twitter and all this crazy stuff. Um, haven't done that lately though, which sucks. Minecraft Dungeons this weekend though with the boy. It's going to happen. Uh, let me see. What, uh, what, what, what What's next? Let me see. That is so stupid to cut salaries when now the workers need more money to, to, to increase cost of living, more electric bill and such. Yeah, no, it's true. It's uh. I mean, it's just gonna force people out of the. Declan, can you lower it, please? Huh? Lower it a little bit, please. Um, <laughs> I don't hear the screaming. Uh, it's it, yeah, it's gonna have a, it's gonna have an impact on where people live for sure. For the more people that end up working from home, they're just gonna leave. They're just gonna leave. Go go live somewhere else, uh, and then they're gonna take their pay cut, and it's gonna suck. Um, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Doom. We talked about Doom, so we might as well follow up on Doom, right? Uh, so Doom it released a uh, patch 1.1 just a couple days ago, I think, just a few days ago. Uh, with March 27th, it was two days ago. Sorry, there's no concept of time here. You guys know this. Uh, that is going to re uh, remove the Denuvo anti-cheat system that they had put in until they uh, until they figure out a better way to implement it. And so, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, they listen to their player base. That's a pretty that's a pretty big thing. Like this is I think I said on a tweet, it was like this is like two for two where uh where it has I feel like either it's like successfully represented themselves in the face of controversy. The first one was Mick Gordon. Um everybody was like, Oh yeah, F you know F, F you know Bethesda and id for you know Mick Gordon, blah blah blah. And then they came and they explained their side, you know. Pretty good, pretty well, and uh, I think we covered it here. And it was, yeah, it was. I was impressed, exactly. I was impressed. And then they did this, and it's like, okay, like I'm impressed again. So for me, it's like that's this is a, this is a good thing. I don't know what they're, what they're going to do in the future. They're still going to look into how they want to uh, handle the anti cheats. But from what I hear, there is not there is hardly anybody playing multiplayer, anyways. And the, when I when we first talked about this story. 
a, a number of you guys were like, it has multiplayer, myself included. I didn't know it had, I mean, I knew it had if I thought about it, but I wouldn't say, oh yeah, and also multiplayer. <laughs> like I wouldn't, it wouldn't even come out, yeah. So yeah, it's, uh, you know, the update, that's pretty good. That's, pre that's a pretty good update. They're gonna roll that thing back and they're gonna revisit it another time uh, because they do wanna secure their, um, their, their, their online stuff. So is it the same as 2K16 or do they change multiplayer? You know, I, I still don't know. That's how unimportant multiplayer is in Doom Legacy and Doom uh, Eternal. Eternal Legacy is the next. Uh, that's the next installment. Uh, I guess you will include exit cheats to avoid people adding cheats. Galaxy Brain. Yeah, I'm pushing the buttons here, but it's not happening. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go until it moves, and then I'll try to move it back. <laughs> oh my gosh, we are like burning through the news so quickly. This is crazy. Wait, wait, how, 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 how much, what the, what the, 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 the I don't know. Anyways, uh, see, you play as both monsters and the Doom guy. That's pretty awesome. Oh, wait, I have seen some of that video. That's right. See, it doesn't matter. Um, let's see, next up, an armored villager. I know, I know. You'll see plenty of that when we play Minecraft Dungeons. You'll see an armored villager That's, and a redstone golem. Well, maybe, maybe not an armored villager. I don't know if an armored villager is going to be there, but there's going to be armor on a lot of dudes, though. It's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, Maple Story 2 shut down. There you go. All right. <laughs> uh, I, I have not. I have not logged any time in Maple Story 2, but uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, this one, uh, it was released in 2015. I think it had a pretty extensive, uh, beta before that, but I can't remember that. 2015, I'm not talking about Godzilla. Um, and, and Techless Queen is all playing. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot just that. Yeah, so they, they've shut down. I don't know, I didn't follow the game at all, but whenever an MMO, uh, shuts down, like, that's always a big deal. I feel like that's always a big deal. Yeah, you know, especially if it had any kind of established player base. And from what I could gather, Maple Story 2 did, in fact, have an established player base, at least, if anything, over time. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I wonder how Clunkers is doing, actually. He's well, he's playing PSO now, because uh, Fantasy Star Online was released on PC, I think Steam, specifically, uh, just recently, just a few days ago. And so he's been playing that pretty extensively. So maybe maybe that's filling the the, the, em the, the empty empty spot in his heart with some of that. Clunkers, are you here, man? <laughs> uh Microsoft Store. That's what a Microsoft Store. Thank you so much. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so it's 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 closed down. It sucks. So we've seen a few MMOs uh, close over time. Uh, not lately though. It seems like they're just gonna like most of them are just kind of running until they just fizzle out, and then everybody just forgets about the game, or uh, they're still going strong somehow. Don't know. Uh, I know. No talk about Baldur's Gate in here because they have a, they have a, they don't have a game an announcement, right? They have a, they're gonna be talking about stuff. They have made an announcement that they're gonna be talking about stuff on June sixth, I think. Is that correct, Terrell? Uh, I may be wrong on this. I just happened to catch a couple of uh, uh, catch a couple tweets on that. But uh, I was going through and adding stuff for my yes, okay, yeah. So so it's announcement for an announcement. We'll probably talk about it next week because Baldur's Gate. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not necessarily a game that I played. I didn't play any Baldur's Gate games growing up. I don't think so. Uh, but it is the style of game that I would play now. So I'm interested. Moving on. God, we're just moving on right through this thing. It's crazy. It's a pre-announcement. That's right. Could be massive news for next week. Could be. Could be. You know what else is massive news for next week? Maybe. Godzilla. Godzilla. That's right. Every week. Every day. Every day. Every, Godzilla. Every day. Godzilla. Get him. <laughs> Godzilla. So the, uh, the 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 next big thing we have coming up here very soon. If this thing changes, oh my god! So I'll just say it. Well, I mash the button here to try to get the screen to move a little bit. Just keep on mash the button. It's eventually gonna register. I, I restarted the computer. Unplugged. It. I did everything, man. Give me a break. There it is. Listen, listen. That uh, new startup sound for the PS5. So we have PS5 information coming uh, June 4th, which is next Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that. Next week. Uh, you guys are saying K? Cool. All right, K. <laughs> we will probably talk about it a little bit, like we talked about the Xbox. 
There's a Thursday? Damn, I was off, man. I guess like three out of seven days. Three out of five days is just a weekday. Jesus. Uh, so, and Cedar Project is one of the EU's uh, richest gaming company. That's right. I did see that. Um, I didn't put it in the news because, you know, it's no Mike B. B. That's right. It's a nice matchup with the different ones, like, even if it's a little long. PlayStation, that Sony company, last I checked, they burned most, if not all, the bridges for people I know. Yeah. Yep. Most. But not all. Next up, I guess we're, we're actually already into the, like, the game announcement stuff. I started working in some game announcements and everything because you guys seem to like that. And so I figured we'll kind of incorporate some more of those, talk about games that are coming up, games that are just released. And so the first one, obviously, we're going to talk about is Minecraft Dungeons. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna talk about this one by showing the uh, uh, this amazing bug they had that was very quickly fixed after it was reported. Uh, and so it says, launcher wipes entire install location when uninstalling. And so it says right here, if you have inst if you have installed Minecraft Dungeons in a custom directory, there is a chance uninstalling Minecraft Dungeons launcher and or the game will remove the entire parent directory and everything in it. Before uninstalling anything, please ensure the Minecraft Dungeons launcher at least uses Bootstrap version, blah, 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 blah. So it was, uh, it, this. I feel like we've seen this before. I can't, I can't even tell you from what where like a game will just destroy an entire hard drive just because. <laughs> so it's kind of funny this happened, but it only happened with, um, it's like a threat not to decide, no, I don't, don't you dare. Uh, it's only, yeah, I'm taking the whole thing with me. Uh, but yeah, it, it was only happening with the Minecraft launcher, not with the Microsoft Store version. Uh, so, and obviously not with any other platforms or anything. Uh, so, you know, Eve was just has destroyed computers with its stuff. Eve has, she's, um, and so yeah, they, they responded pretty fairly quickly and they just said, uh, that, uh, that they, they fixed it within 30 minutes after hearing the first report and they kind of go into detail about what happened. But, but it, in terms of the game itself, I did just put out a video on, uh, it's on the YouTubes. You can go and check that out. We're doing well. We did stream it as well, uh, this week. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. I still enjoy it. And it's uh, something I'm probably going to play over the weekend with the boy. It's perfect. It's perfect, like, to get kids involved with ARPGs. And then also, uh, and it's also, like, not that bad for for, uh, for adults. I don't feel like. See, it's like that chick you're with that you think you're picking up, but she's crazy. She's going to take all your stuff. Throw yourself out the window. Absolutely. Absolutely. The Star Dude did as well with some uh, infinite rendering thing. If you left... On the main screen, it would fry graphics. I've seen that a few times where uh, if you left it, if you left like the, the V-Sync off or something like that, it would just cook your cook your card. I want to say like, oh man, oh, I can't remember the game. It was like, it was like the character loading screen of a popular game. Like where you see your character or whatever, a character select screen. And I remember it was like cooking my machine. I couldn't remember what it was, but it was just cooking it. Um, and then later it came out with a fix or whatever, but it was just like, just nonstop. You could not leave that thing, uh, running. And yeah, Space Engineers did it too, for a bit too. VR Paradise? No. You don't need 5,000 FPS in the menu? Jeez. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can see it. Everyone knows you can't see past 30 frames per second. We all know that. Truth. Holly Bridge. It's very loud. I'm gonna love that a little bit. Poly Bridge is coming out with a version two or in second release. You guys ever following Poly Bridge stuff? This is one of those games with like Besiege where you basically see a whole bunch of, uh, let me go turn off the thing, we'll play it, turn off that. Uh, where they, uh, they have loud noises, I know. Uh, where you basically, you design a bridge, as you can say, you design a bridge to uh, to solve these, you know, whatever situations you're put in. You're given a limited number of parts and it has to do with structural integrity. And there's all kinds of just like goofy things that happen that, um, okay, like this, that made it feel quite besieged-like. <laughs> and so you ended up seeing gifts. I think you actually you were able to record gifts in the uh, in the game itself, the game engine itself, and then you could just easily upload them and put them on uh, uh, put them on uh, Reddit. Some of these things I haven't seen yet. It's just like, come on, man, look at this. What is what is happening here? Look at that. It's crazy. So yes, build bigger, crazier, weirder bridges. Is that nuts? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> yes. So part two is coming for those of you guys who are interested. Uh. Sales. There's a lot of bunch of sales happening this week. Uh, we have No Man's Sky is uh, available right now for 50% off. If you do not have No Man's Sky and you are even the slightest bit interested in it, uh, I would recommend it. It's still a lot of fun. It's just so much crap to do. It's I mean, there's there's infinite stuff to do now, and uh, well, 
Yeah. They had a rough start. I know some people still still got their still got their knickers in a twist about it. Oh, it's Sean Murray. <laughs> hey, like you're a <laughs> I'm good, fam. It's fine. It's fine if that's your opinion. It's totally fine, but some people are still on the fence. Some people are still on the fence. <laughs> uh Pixark. Alex had yeah, Alex did have a wine physics update. I didn't have that in my news. Uh let me grab that real quick. Because that was pretty funny. Uh, so Pixar is also on sale, and from what I hear from Josh Allen, that it's um, it's uh, it's pretty good. Like if they, we had some issues initially with it, you know, just basically being. I mean, you could see even even in this video they have here, like the frame rate was low. It was just it was severely unstable. Uh, it was something that we tried so hard to make work, and it was just it was just yeah, it was just not happening. Um, and so we ended up just dropping it and just walking away from it. So where are my critters? <laughs> Option to ban to ban era. No, he's past. Where he's past that point now. Let me see if I can find a liquid physics update. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Booze upgrade. We we'll get this from Eurogamer here. So yes, they did. That's right. The tweet. Here's the tweet. That's what I was looking for. So they they added an update that that adds liquid physics to the game. I wish it was a higher frame rate video here, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, he does eventually knock over a uh, knock over the, the the whole collection of bottles here, the whole table, and it splashes on the floor. Not a very impressive uh, splash, but still, they added liquid physics in case in case you guys were looking to uh, shake some bottles in uh, in Alex. You can. I would say probably the most uh, impressive thing about Alex has come out lately is the mods. The workshop is open. There's a ton of uh, of mods. Let me actually go grab the video. This wasn't part of the news, but I'll grab it here uh, just to see da -da -da, history. They have a ton of mods that they have uh, that, that the community has put together. And uh, this, here you go. This guy went through and, and basically tested a whole bunch. I'll just kind of skip through here. You can see some. Uh, some of them are weird. I mean, as as you can expect with uh, with you know, workshop stuff, early workshop stuff. Some of it's just weird. Doesn't make any sense. I don't know what's happening here. He's throwing food at this guy. Uh, so we put Doom E1, uh, E1 Episode 1, uh, Mission 1 in. And it's a, uh, I mean, it's a relatively complete look. It even has textures and everything. So, And this is just people throwing stuff together quickly, you know, to just get it, get, some, get something out there. I wouldn't be surprised if you ended up seeing more, like, level remakes like this uh, where you could experience. Because, I mean, who doesn't want to, like, play, you know, Oh, actually, no, I was going to say Rise of the Triad, but it's funny because I did see a video where somebody was indeed playing Rise of the Triad in VR, and it looked horrendous. <laughs> but, oh, yeah, here we go. This is a good one. Uh, the Monsters... Look at this. This is uh, Monsters the Scare Floor. Hopefully, you know what that is. Hopefully, you guys have seen Monsters. You guys. Uh, he does everything but open the door in this little walkthrough he does of this. So, anyway, so lots and lots of mods that are already being released on uh, on the workshop uh, for, uh, for this. Monsters, Inc. Monsters, come on, you guys, what, what, you want me to spell everything out for you? Jeez, jeez, God, you didn't say ink. Incogni, by the way, it's just like, what, what? So yeah, uh, lots of stuff. I'm not going to change this for out the screen because I'm afraid I'm going I'm to lose control of my, uh, of my, of my patience on the stream, on this stream deck. Make sure you file your paperwork. Mike B. Wazowski, Mike B. Wazowski. I still love that. I still love all the monsters, Monsters, Inc. and then Monsters University. I think it was so great. So good. And you're wrong if you think otherwise. <laughs> Team 17 is having a huge sale as well. If you're interested in any of their games, they make a lot. They make a lot. These are really good sales, by the way. Like most of this, like most of them are like 50 plus percent off. Um, golf with your friends is not on sale though. <laughs> Let's see, escape is moving out. Uh, golf with your friends. What the heck? How are they not going to discount that, man? Come on. Uh, yeah, just a handful of games that they're a handful. Uh, basically, the whole publisher collection that they're going through and they're uh, they're selling. So at a discounted rate. What? I heard my name. What? 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 Uh, otherwise, things that are coming up very soon. I'll try to cover things that are just coming up this next week or so. Command and Conquer Remaster Collection is coming June fifth. Uh, I'm actually probably going to go and check this out. Uh, I I I. Didn't play Command and Conquer growing up much, uh, and it was because it didn't run on my Mac. <laughs> that was it. Cause it didn't run on my Mac. I don't even think there was a Mac version. Uh, I had to go and watch one of my neighbors uh, 
play and he would play uh he was he was he was grown up uh but he would play with his buddy online where you had to connect like directly using dial up you guys remember this you guys are all old you guys all know what i'm talking about uh and they would play uh they play multiplayer it's pretty great and they update apparently they updated the fidelity of the fmvs as well so that it looks better they you show them a little video here uh and there's a lot of behind the scenes content as well so yeah that was an ice cream dude <laughs> I got the super physical collector's edition physical stuff to come later due to the Rona. See, Rona is impacting everything. Shh, we're going to talk about that kind of stuff next. Up. Satisfactory is also coming to Steam. Already has been out on Epic. Uh, this is absolutely something I'm going to play. Come on now. <laughs> For sure. Now that it's available on Steam. I mean, I, I'm, I got the Epic launcher now, of course. Thank you, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. <laughs> Remastered. So, yeah, I'm going to check that out. This is... um. Uh, this is this is uh, something that uh, actually, and the last thing is the the last one that I had noted for this is this, this is one of this is one of the uh, the most Mike games ever. See, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, sea of Thieves is coming to Steam as well. I'm gonna give this another shot also because yeah, you know, we played it for like one day, and I feel like we had a blast. I mean, I still have a VOD or a, a video somewhere of like Hohan and I and a, and a couple of like just playing music. I like get random. Like it was just so much fun uh, to play. But then you, we ran out of content. Like after the first night, it was kind of like, all right, cool. That doesn't really feel like, you know, repeating the same thing over and over again. But I've heard that they have made uh, an incredible amount of updates content wise to the title. So. Yeah, I want to, uh, I'm actually interested in getting back and checking out again. I really love the ship to ship stuff and yeah, all this stuff. Sea of Trolls, Captain goes down with a ship. Been enjoying the game while also finding out people are, yes, they are. Yes, they are. Um, there is another title. This one actually Digi brought up to, uh, brought up just before the stream in, in Discord. Uh, and this was, this game is called uh, Disintegration. Uh, it is a first person shooter slash rts this this video doesn't do much it just this just kind of breaks down like you know the, the story it doesn't really show hardly any gameplay or anything but the but ign actually did a a pretty good walkthrough i can't believe i'm saying this a pretty good cap a recap of uh of their experience playing the game uh why is it actually so weird uh this is my inner oh you know what it is because i have my uh my dark mode on and that thing still slows everything down so this is basically a full gameplay uh walk through here where they go through and they, and they play and then he talks a little bit about the story and all that stuff but i have to say the gameplay of this looks pretty good the way it works is you know you're controlling the you're inside of this like kind of like a little hover hovercraft kind of thing you're kind of floating around uh and while you're above your squad you can uh, you can, you'll see here, he'll like, he'll like go through a like, call to action, like he'll move characters around, tell them to go here, tell them to go there. And you can see in the lower left corner here, you have up, up is one character, right is another character, down is another character. So you're basically controlling your characters, your squad, while you are, um, you know, doing whatever. So it's kind of this it, RTS, first person RTS. Uh, and it just, it looks, I mean, it looks like not bad, uh, honestly, it really doesn't. Like relatively polished, uh, pre-beta gameplay, so alpha gameplay. Yeah, yeah. No, no, pre-beta. It comes after, post-alpha. Okay. <laughs> so why is relief? Yeah, that's funny. That's exactly what I said when when Digi posted this link in Discord. I was like, wow, I'm getting some serious Hawken vibes. Like the way that the character moves inside of the 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 the, the not mech, uh, really really gives you those, especially like the the strafes or those strafe jumps or whatever. Like absolutely, man. Uh, I guess you'd call that dodging, <laughs> strafe jumps. Uh, but yeah, it does look like something that uh, that's worth checking out at least once. Is there a <laughs> big Nick music here? I know, huh? I know that music was so perfect for that. Um. So yeah, that game's coming out. Is there even a date for that? I don't think June sixteenth. That's right, June sixteenth. So June is gonna be a pretty good month for games. Uh, you know, we have Satisfactory D Disintegration looks good. Uh, sea of Thieves is coming soon. We don't know when exactly. Uh, and then Command and Conquer. Command and Conquer is something obviously I'm gonna check out too. So, so yeah, it does look pretty good. The Last of Us Two. What? You, what? <laughs> he said The Last of Us Two. Ah! No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Reinhardt tattoo. Uh, yeah, no, The Last of Us Two is there for folks that are still interested in that uh, and that train wreck of a PR scandal. Oh my god. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it's probably gonna be pretty good if you avoided spoilers. 
but they were everywhere and I didn't really have an interest in playing the game uh and so I went and I read through some of them and I was kind of like cool I didn't really have any issues with it but still it's just the, the fiasco that they've gone through in the past like three months or whatever it just it sucks at the same time it's just like oh my god just the worst possible everything could have possibly happened pre pre-launch you avoided spoilers like the Rona you avoided everything cool the state of play was great good Good, still hyped. Good. I'm glad you guys are. I laugh because of just the, the the fiasco that what happened. It's just like it's just there was a leak and here's the oh it matches this thing and oh now four chance getting involved and oh my god oh Jesus Christ uh, how could it be the last if it's a sequel? Uh, it's the Last of Us two like also so it means there was another I don't know how it works. <laughs> I didn't play the first one. I play I played the first one up until I played the first one up until the dude's daughter died and I was like I'm out. Can't do it. Nope. New dad. Can't deal with this. Mm -mm. <laughs> totally left-handed saluted it, man. I was out of here. Uh, but that's it, guys. The laster of us. <laughs> Two last to us. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, more of us would have been better. Uh, more of us <laughs> would have been a better name. Uh, don't worry, Zelneth. That that's the first like ten minutes of the original. That's why that's why I ended up just leaving. I was like, okay, I'm not invested in this game. I gotta leave. Less of us. Uh, wait, what? Explain. When I hear 4chan in a game, I think of Rule Thirty Four. Well, it's that too. It's that too. It's just it's just rumors and uh and leaks and stuff like that that just come out and you know you're not really sure what to believe whatever. But then later it comes out. And it's like, oh, it's totally true. Look at this old uh, this old post by anonymous on 4chan. But yeah, so um, you miss Quantum League Hero Shooter on Early Access. I think I've covered enough today. It's time to go. Well, I'll be back for you guys in a second, of course. We got to say goodbye to YouTube, though. All right? All right? So that's it for the news. Thank you so much for hanging out. Jamie T said, no! Uh, we're the Amazon had a major game release, and no one knows. Crucible, boy. Yeah. Well, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, chat, Uncle Chat, Uncle and Auntie Chat. Thank you so much for hanging out and helping. The boy left. His phone's here. Where did he go? That's weird. Hmm. Weird. All right. Well, hope you guys have a good one. I'm going to hit the stop button now. So